Uh, when I first came to the Rainbow Gathering, I just I just heard rumors, uh, word of mouth. I didn't know about any internet presence, and I just heard there's a place you can go, and they're gonna have you don't have to really bring anything, but you in, you can improve it by bringing things. And people want to feed you, and people want to teach you. And if you're looking for a guru, or you're looking for an elder, or you're looking for a family, or you're looking for a tribe, then it's a place to go. Rainbow Gathering is a multicultural interfaith assembly to protect our First Amendment right to free speech and assembly, and it is also where a bunch of people come to pray for peace in various ways. Some of those people do it by actions where they, where they host workshops and um, practice nonviolent communication and conflict resolution and de-escalation. Other people, the focus is on the event on the 4th where everyone is asked to be silent from dawn until noon, and then people gather in the main meadow, circle up, and uh, ohm for world peace. There's often always a uh, little ch children's parade that comes and breaks the silence, and then people start, start to have uh, a revelry. But for me, it's really about, uh, uh, I come from you know, like an activist background and from a love for a forest, so I come to help protect the forest, uh, to be an activist, to give and get education, and to um, gather with my human family. It's really amazing to uh, live in nature in a way that you're supported, and get away from all the cars and the noise and people trying to constantly dominate dominate you with uh, selling things. Because sometimes I hang out in the city pretty often and just the fact that you walk by a store and no one's there to sell you anything, but all the lights are on and there's flashing signs still trying to get your attention is it's just a little bothersome to me when I live in a world where like I see that as something that's gonna make it so it's hard, gonna be harder for my great grandchildren to breathe the air because they're burning coal and releasing carbon into the atmosphere. Uh, the fact that I get to be an activist and um, and that I guess you get to interact with so many communities without having to commute using oil are all uh, major reasons that, that I find that I come. Um, everyone is probably gonna give you, give you a different answer. So I can answer for me and we can ask other people. I hear one of them, the, like some of the more popular memes I hear is um, healing, um, to protect our First Amendment right, um, to be in the national forests, to learn about plants, um, because it's a family reunion. Some people come, like that's a big one for a lot of people is just because there's these friends, and especially among the traveler community or people who don't have phones or whatever. And if you wanna see them, so many people are gathered. It's such a great place to go go see all your friends. And there's some people that don't don't even really like being in the woods, but the fact that they know so many of their friends are gonna be there is, is a thing that makes them come. I always say that, I use this rhyme, rainbow's not about a person, place, or thing. Rainbow's are what you bring. Uh, and the more you give, uh, the more open you are to receive. But if you come to Rainbow making, taking, forsaking, needing, wanting, desiring, you don't get it. It's just another thing and, and you come and you take and you leave. But if you come to give, you remember all the faces. This brother's been coming, he's been building, he works at this kitchen, that kitchen, you know, and this is how it is. They, they carry you in, the, the, the older people, they build these kitchens. The miracle is to come here a month after Rainbow and watch how the land is left. And that's our legacy, because in 47 gatherings, my 42, if we were destroying the forest, I would never come again. A lot of people have a lot of traumas, including myself from my past, that we're all working through. But if we can work together, we can like really heal each other. And that's been a big part of Rainbow for me, is like doing that healing process with a collective group of people that generally have your best interest and look after each other. And you see more than just in the woods and you like see each other on the streets and acknowledge each other a little differently. Wait until we get to full energy on the 1st of July and it is nothing but a, a complete I love you fest in here because that's what we do. We come here to heal. We come here to watch what we call Babylon off our backs. You understand mm. we call the world outside of our gatherings Babylon. So all of the things that happen to us all year long that pick us apart, break down our bodies, and make us feel less than whole, that's why we come here. We come here together to gather and to heal one another and to heal ourselves. And like I said, just wait. We've already got nothing but love from the locals that have come in, so I'm sure they're gonna be amazed when we get into full swing here. It's really about you know, holding space and calming yourself and really letting people say the thing they have to say because there's some reason they're trying to tell you it and maybe your life hasn't given you the skills to understand the words they use the communication style but they have you know, everyone has some important thing that they're they're trying to impart to you and, and trying to figure out 
how to listen deeply and compassionately enough to get that information is, is like a really useful skill in all aspects of your life. Like this is a prayer for peace and everyone has a different concept of what peace is or how to, how to pray or how to achieve that peace. And I think that, I think that my, my prayer for peace is communicating with people that are different than myself in a positive and educational manner so that we are not fighting. Uh, it's like adult camping, you know? Like, I mean, kids are out here too, but like we're all camping. Like, when I was in Boy Scouts, you like make forts, awesome fences, you hang tarps, you learn how to tie knots, you learn which plants are safe to eat, which plants are not safe to eat. You learn about cross-contamination and cooking. It's, it's camping. It's like, you know, sort of like a throwback to like uh, frontier days or something like that. And, you know, that's, it is, you do, the more you give, the more you get, and the more you get, the, the more you love, the more you love, the better it is, you know, for everybody. Um, so please come on out and just feel, feel the love and feel the rainbow vibrations. And uh, you are family, we are family, and uh, you're one of us. This is being lost, then may I never be found.